<coughs> off for a 8.8 mile hike and as you can see over there it snowed again it snowed again this morning over there it's only about four celsius where i'm standing here it's actually pretty damn cold so i'm gonna get moving and i've got the action camera set up in manual mode and i've just uh i just screwed it up straight away so that's not a good <clears throat> so oh i've done it again right <clears throat> Look at how this preview screen works on this camera. Uh, so that's no good, it's just shut yourself off again. We'll have another go. <laughs> right, <laughs> third attempt, I think I've got it this time. Right, so basically, the, it's, a, it's an action camera, so it's designed to be in a, an automatic mode. But when you're in an automatic mode, if you do that, that goes too bright and that will darken down obviously because you can see the, the uh, clouds are blown out. Basically this is how a manual camera looks at the moment. So you've got two choices. Have that go over bright so it doesn't look that natural. Or have it in auto which I'll show you in a minute. Right, so now auto, what that does, it makes everything sort of maximum brightness is what the camera wants to do, as you see. So the sky is out of the frame. It's a free, it's a free quarter exposure, similar to a Canon and other, um, other cameras. Meter in the mean. As soon as I lift it up to about three quarter start going dark and, and it'll do that so you've got two choices really if you have it in the middle like that ground is dark because of the brightness of the clouds so you either have one or the other or have a mix of both and when you're walking along try and hold the camera like that it's quite difficult where it's just in about like a balanced area I can do that manually you know, a little bit, but when you go, it will blow the clouds. I'm doing just a slight compromise here. A little bit dark on the floor. So if the weather sta if the weather stabilizes itself. It'd be easier to keep it in auto. So it's quite a bit of snow fell this morning. Right high on the high line out there last week basically. And that's where that motorhome's parked in my spot. You, I'm suing you. Jimmy Lad spot lock moan over there doesn't moan too much really problematic conditions for a camera this is extremely dark and extremely bright sky digital's worst enemy that is I don't care what anyone says, these forests, these artificial forests are extremely boring to be honest. Uh, I think it was Friday night, all I could hear was gunshots of uh, people killing the deer and other, other wildlife, they're killing foxes, uh, badgers. No matter what wildlife it is, it's getting it round here quite badly actually. It's a shame it's that bad. Can't hear a single bird. 
Hey, Chrissy, I think I'll give you a bit of a, a lesson in these trees that you sound about people in the vans and me having them for Christmas. Well, these here are going to be cut down anyway. Their leaves will be very short. These here, these here will be cut down. Anything within the range of this track will be cut down. Doesn't matter what they are. Doesn't matter what tree it is, they will be cut down because they are in the way of the logging stuff what comes through here. They cut these down every 10 years or so. So it doesn't matter if you have them for Christmas or someone's birthday or whatever, they're going to get it. It's a pity because there's a broad, there's actually a broad needle one there. But yeah, they're all inferior to the logging companies, absolutely worth nothing. These, most of these are doomed. Well, they're all doomed. Everything what sits here is doomed. When they come to log, that natural tree there, that natural tree there, natural tree, all this is a goner. Everything what you see here is gone. So don't have a go at people for having them in the van at Christmas because they're going to die anyway. Remember, this is not natural. This is what you've got to get into your head. <laughs> this is not natural. Even that tree will possibly get it. There's a high possibility. If it gets in the way of the logging, it will get it. As simple as that. Here, not so much over there. They've been planted. you just got to be really lucky. The trees have got to be very lucky to get away with it, really. Lovely view, even if it is an artificial view. At least they've set all these trees here. It's good to see. What's the sad about all this for me is it's not nothing natural. It's all been the human done, which is a real shame. Once in my life, I would love to find some in the UK, which is a natural environment, like a, a natural woodland. Anything really what has not been touched by humans. I've never seen anything like that, which is uh, a bit of a shocker, really, when you think of it. It's. Uh, their yeah, leaves are driven so much by fake reality. You know, I mean, fake uh, like social media and even this world which I'm walking in there is 100% man-made. You know, it's a shame. There's a... Uh, I mean, some people go, yeah, I mean, it looks nice in the summer. It looks a lot better because it's more, a little bit more lush in colour. But as far as it goes for me, it's uh, just nice to try and go somewhere where it's wild, untouched. I mean, most of the locks in Scotland, to my knowledge, are man-made. And obviously reservoirs are man-made, because they have dams and stuff. So you can actually say <laughs> natural. I think even Greymere's Tail Waterfall near Moffat, 
that's man man produced because of the the lock up the top I think the lock the lock was made or filled or something like that many years ago it's uh it becomes after a while it becomes a complete it can how do you describe it monotonous a monotonous walk you know I'm just keeping the fit I'm not not in not particularly enjoying the, the place at all I'll give it a bit once one out of five <laughs> is uh, I've been around here about six or seven times it's basically the only loop which has some sensibility about it <coughs> It's a shame the whole lot. It's just such a shame. <clears throat> the destruction, what they've done to the countryside for these places must must have been absolutely horrendous for the natural wildlife plants and stuff like that. Obliterate them off the face of the earth, possibly. I mean, apart from wind, no birds. I've shown you this bit before. I mean, you know, it does look, it does look really cute. Sadly, in about 70 years time, this will be obliterated to nothing. little stream goes around there again all the trees what you're seeing here have been set there used to be a nature reserve or something over there because it says on the signpost long gone but then again they have stopped people coming around here completely now I keep saying it that will be an ideal place for bird hide that's the widest part of this river just there it'd be just interesting sit there for a few hours just to see what it is about I mean looking at it now it looks dead which is a shame should be full of really old I thought so quiet around this part <clears throat> about two miles to the furthest point out <coughs> that sun isn't that bloody warm there in this bit here I'm pleased I've only got a uh, fleece on the jumper even if it's only four celsius it actually feels pretty damn warm really. So I'm out doing an 8.8 .8 mile hike today, nice relaxing one, and you've got Merrick in the background there, covered in snow, looking rather spectacular. And the hike actually isn't that good, it's just forestry, it's very dull. Uh, just seen a deer a few minutes ago, there's not a lot here at all really, it's apart from the views in the distance are, are really beautiful. Uh, it's a shame really, it's a shame that uh, the forestry has done the damage to the countryside in Scotland. Pretty much devoid of life really now. Spectacular views across there. Uh, as I said I, I know this is a man-made landscape here with all these trees but it does look nice with the sun out. <coughs> the snow covered hills. It's about 400 metres where the snow line is roughly. Beautiful cleared backdrop today as well. I haven't done any photography for a few weeks and this time of the year I normally do take uh, a month off. 
can't see where I'm bloody going. <laughs> Sun's lovely, but yeah, it's blood. Right, this is the furthest out point we're all going, walking to. It's absolutely freezing this wind. And as far as the eye can see, forestry and destruction. <laughs> That's all I can say. It doesn't look pretty at all. About four miles to go. This is where the army comes quite a bit. They sit down there. I've actually I've had a chuckle to myself because they're out training and yet over here they have loads of portaloos. And I'm sitting there thinking, if you go into war, do you take the portaloo with you then? Hold on, Rusky, before you shoot, I need to go to the toilet. It's uh, uh, yeah, they have the tents here and everything. What 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 would be funny to do is sort of as they all camp there, sitting there like that, do a, like a mock uh, like invasion, you know, like take over, come running in there, throw throw fake grenades, right? You lot are dead, you lot are dead. Just see how ready they really are. I think that'd be a lyrus. <clears throat> Because ain't they meant to be always ready in the army? You know, they're sitting around, sitting around the tents and all that. <laughs> oh, and the, and the same people, uh, the army, they've got these uh, four-wheel drive truck things. No, six-wheel drive truck things. that They come around these narrow roads. I was going around there one day, and there was one on its side in the ditch. I'm sitting there thinking, bloody hell, you're not very good driving around here. Don't give you much chance in a war, that's what I thought anyway. <laughs> Don't give up your day job because you're not very good at doing the army, let's say. You know, ambush them here and then they crash off the road round the corner, which is hilarious. I don't know how many, I think, I don't know where it's four wheel, I can't remember there. That trucks, what you can't, can't people in them type. And, uh, you know, they've got massive tyres as well, all-wheel drive, and there's one laying on its bloody side in the, in the ditch. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought my motorhome was <laughs> bad at going off-road, so I won't complain about that van anymore, let's say, after they <laughs> doing what they did. So that's Loch Moan home for there. <laughs> <sighs> That lovely winter's view in the background. But all that snow up there still. It's going to be quite mild in the next few days. It's going to be freezing tonight. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, there's been no frogs and newts along here whatsoever. It's, it's a shame, really, that uh, frogs and newts are actually relying on these bits of pools on the side of the road which shows to me there's an issue with the countryside for these animals because their natural habitat has been completely destroyed I mean even in this uh, if it rains they will be even in here in puddles in the spring which is quite alarming for them really Like I said, to me that is a sign they have real issues with their natural environment here. But then again, you can't get in the way of greed. No one can. I'm still in manual mode with this camera. Just getting used to the characteristics of it. That is uh, part of uh, Hadrian Wall's brother, uh, Jimmy Hadrian. <clears throat> He's only five when he did and built that.
12 AD, I think he did that, if I remember. Yeah. yeah. I felt absolutely fine, apart from my quad muscles are uh, gone lumpy and stiff. And it's affecting my back. And it's sending pins and needles down my, down my legs, which is my usual issue, which I thought I'd gotten over. I just seem to can't stop that stiffness in them legs. If, if I can get on top of that at some point. It's not energy related. Nothing like that. It's uh, something that's causing them to play up. I can't put my finger on it. <clears throat> oh, and I've gone grim there. Very dull. Uh, no blue spies. Put the camera up a bit. This is the last track for heading onto the road. About two, no, about a mile and a half, roughly. Don't particularly like this track. Uh, it's a bit, well, no, these, these uh, hiking boots are doing very well actually on this type of surface. Can't even feel the stones digging into the shoes. Like the other ones, these are a much tougher design. <clears throat> so, Galloway Hills over there, looking awesome. In the snow, Got a nice Christmas tree. the last bit of hill apart from a little bit near the road which is about 100 yards long got my usual issue which I've suffered from for 30 years stiff legs hamstrings uh, so when I go to do that with my legs I can feel my hamstrings don't want to lift and the quad muscles are so tight it's actually trying to restrict the leg from going back if i can get rid of that stiffness <coughs> everything's fine i don't feel tired i don't feel like i've used any energy at all it's just that stiffness and ripping sensation which is obviously caused by the stiffness in the legs and uh, yeah it's playing it's playing havoc and I'm also as I'm walking I'm actually walking in a reverse C fashion so basically sticking my hips out shoulders back bending and then trying to walk on my legs as far as they can go backwards which is actually helping stretch the quad muscles as I, as I walk <clears throat> That's where the running's been coming in. I don't know why it's actually the worst. They've done it actually. When the stiffness is down, it's, the stiffness is in between my shoulders, right all the way down my back, uh, in my hips. Down basically every part of my legs, apart from my ankles. Feet are fine with the shoes. Probably better than shoes in there, they're really nice shoes actually. Very comfy. Nice amount of give now. I can feel them quite feeling very well indeed. So as I'm going down this hill, I'm actually keeping my leg, my quad uh, my leg dead straight as I go back help stretch those tight quad muscles 
it is working quite well but it's uh it's very uncomfortable to be honest to do that now twice in a row i've been down here i've been around here about eight times now i think something like that yeah something like that, yeah eight times i guess and uh twice in a row on this bit i've caused my right foot to give way because of fatigue in the feet as I just said, the shoes are bedded in there and that's not happening there. It's very, even on a dull day down here, even on a really dull day, which is very overcast now. I'm trying to keep the camera nice and natural looking. Uh, it does look, it's still quite colourful actually, even if it's fake. <coughs> So when I get back to the van, I'll try and stretch these problems out and see if I can. I'm not, I'm not able to do it half the time for some reason, just legs just don't like doing it. It's not the safest thing to do when you're going down hills, actually leaning right back. But there you go. If I lean back much more, I'll be looking backwards. <laughs> I've been to the toilet five times around here for a wee wee. Five! So I can't be sweating that much water out today. Because I haven't got a coat on, you see, so it's not causing me to get overly hot. Now I'm not, I'm not sweating a little bit of water down my back but not too bad. I don't know how I'm managing to sweat. Oh, we got a thing over there. Oh, we had a uh, sparrowhawk. My first sparrowhawk in, uh, I nearly said London. <laughs> uh, Scotland. <clears throat> All done for the off-road. And the moat home still down there. How dare they? I can't. They? they won't do the things I did. Get out of my spot. I bet they vlogging away on YouTube. Look at this on tour. We sat here all day eating and drinking coffee. Should be out here doing this. All done. Just round the corners. <laughs> It'd be as easy peasy lemon squeezy if it wasn't for my stiffness issues. Mind you, the stiffness issues actually free themselves up a little bit as they come off the off the stony trunk. Don't forget to, if you like this type of thing. Like it in the current side, real life stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell thingy. <coughs> I don't edit my images, videos even. <laughs> All my images. <laughs>